help us prevent, detect, and respond to future disease outbreaks. As some of you may know, Virus Hunter was originally envisioned as a physical hands-on exhibit, complete with youth workshops and interactive sessions created by our friends at the Penang, Penang Science Cluster. And I was, I was so glad to hear Mr. Peng saying that that will be part of this program when we can. Once we're further along the pathway, we, we work, look forward to welcoming students all across Malaysia to the exhibit. And that will visit five cities in peninsular Malaysia, as well as going to Sabah and Sarawak. But until then, we have the Virus Hunter website, which I think is being launched today. It's available in both English and Bahasa. It offers a comprehensive experience that we hope is useful to students, parents, teachers, all looking for meaningful ways to teach young people about our current difficulties and the kind of cutting edge thought and research we will need to avoid a similar situation in the future. We hope that Virus Hunter gives young Malaysians a view to their own potential to, to pursue careers in STEM and play a role in that next generation fight against pandemics. Uh, more, more simply, I would just say, if you're a young Malaysian watching this, uh, you can be, you know, you can decide to become involved in this career and, uh, and you can make an impact. The, these challenges are gonna continue. So before I end, I wanna wish all the best to the young participants who will begin their journeys through the website. And I wish you good luck in earning your Virus Hunter badge. Thank you, Ryan. I agree that we have to look ahead and think of how we can better cope in the case of future pandemics. I sincerely hope that this project will encourage our youth to start thinking of their potential role in pandemic preparedness in the future. We'd really like to thank the U.S. Embassy again for your support and involvement in making this program a reality. We would not have been able to make it without you. Thank you. Now, let's welcome country Dr. Jimila Mahmoud, Special Advisor to the Prime Minister on Public Health to deliver her remarks. Tan Sri Dr. Jamila. Terima kasih, Ili. Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera kepada semua. Yang saya hormati, Tuan Duta Besar, Ambassador Brian uh, McPheeters, uh, Tuan uh, Ui, uh, sebab selaku pengetua um, Penang Science Cluster, Guru-guru uh, yang saya hormati dan anak-anak um, yang saya kasihi, uh, selamat datang dan terima kasih untuk memberi saya satu peluang untuk ber, me, mengucapkan sekadar dua. Uh, saya kena cakap bahasa Malaysia, kalau tidak saya malu dengan Ambassador Brian McFitters ya, sebab dia sangat fasih dalam bahasa Malaysia. Jadi saya rasa sangat uh, gembira kerana program virus hantar atau pemburu virus ini diadakan kerana anda adalah merupakan saintis-saintis kita pada masa depan yang saya harap dapat juga membantu seluruh dunia untuk mencari punca dan juga rawatan untuk pandemik masa depan. Jadi ini adalah satu tanggungjawab yang saya rasa kita semua kena pikul pada masa depan kerana seperti dikatakan oleh Duta McFitters bahawa penyakit zoonosis ataupun yang didapat daripada haiwan akan lebih berleluasan dan menyebabkan outbreak ataupun pandemic pada masa depan. So I switch to English now. So I'm especially delighted to be here because this is a subject matter that is so dear to my heart and that we are living the pandemic times today. You know, it's so important to include young people and teachers and in getting the education sector involved because we all know that this pandemic has affected everyone. When I talk to young people, I see in them a lot of sadness the fact that they are losing on interactions with their classmates and their teachers and that life is not the same anymore. You know, learning from a digital device uh, is good when you have uh, the right connectivity and you have the devices that you need, but not everyone has the same, um, you know, access to digital education. Now, the Virus Hunter Project is so important because knowledge and information based on science and evidence is so critical. You know, we live in a world where information flows freely and misinformation flows, flows more freely. So it's so important that we get the right science and the right evidence to our young people because not only because we want them to be inspired and to be knowledgeable,
people. But unfortunately, young people are also being affected by the disease. In Malaysia, majority of the cases of COVID-19 are not among 60-year-olds. So they're among young people. Uh, and I think that, you know, we are seeing now with the variants that are emerging, even younger and younger children are being affected. With this program, it is my hope that all of you will get enough knowledge, a better understanding of how the virus affects us, how it transmits, and what might be the ways we can you know, combat this infection and stop its spread. At the end of the day, the successful management of a pandemic really requires community participation. And community participation means you and me, your, your families and your friends. And this can only happen and progress if we have the right knowledge. I love the way that you are capitalizing on the digital space to, uh, to educate young people because this is the way young people learn nowadays and it's something quite easy for them compared to people like me. But more importantly, this signals a very strong partnership. I'm really especially thankful to the US Embassy here and the US government, not just for partnering on Virus Hunter, but the support you've given us through this difficult time, particularly with uh, additional vaccines from your administration. And I just want to, on behalf of the, of the Prime Minister, say thank you very much for that very valuable contribution. As we move along and learn about the virus, it is also my hope that young people today are more conscious of why we are in this situation. The pandemic didn't happen out of the blue. It happened because we, as human beings living on Earth, have violated and damaged our environment. We have damaged what we call the planetary boundaries that keep us safe. So as you progress and get older in life, as you become entrepreneurs, businessmen, teachers, professors, government officials, you also commit that your footprint on earth will be as tiny as possible with the greatest impact on humanity and the environment. Only then we will begin to see a decline in zoonotic diseases. If we can restore our environment, restore our planetary boundaries, then there is hope for the future. And in this time of, I would say, despair in Malaysia, where people are very sad, they're under lockdown, you know, they can't get back to a normalcy of life. I also urge you to encourage your parents, your teachers and yourselves, if you're, if you're above 12, to get ready and get your arm ready for that vaccine. It will help us get back to normal at some stage. And I just, I'm excited to see the uh, virtual tour going around and I hope that there will be opportunity for us to interact and you can count me in as your supporter to the Virus Hunter program. So with that, I just want to thank you once again for inviting me and for this opportunity and all the very best uh, for this Virus Hunter program. Thank you so much. Terima kasih, Dr. Jamila. Yeah, we should definitely respect the boundaries and the space that nature needs to thrive without affecting us negatively. We actually do cover that specifically in our website and also our physical exhibition. I personally am in awe and so happy that our young people have a fellow Malaysian role model to look up to. I hope our youth, boys and girls alike, will feel encouraged to choose STEM as a study and career pathway in the future. We also appreciate the persevering effort invested by the Ministry of Health to ensure that the health and safety of all Malaysians during this time, the doctors and nurses are the real heroes in this story. Thank you, truly. As mentioned earlier, one of the components of Virus Hunter is a physical exhibition that will be placed in partner states across Malaysia. Let's watch this video tour together to have a little taste of what the exhibition would look like. One of the components of Virus Hunter is a physical exhibition that will be placed in partner states across Malaysia. Let's watch this video tour together to have a little taste of what the exhibition looks like.
We would like to thank our partners in Kuala Lumpur, Kedah, Kelantan, Terengganu, Sabah and Sarawak for making this program accessible to our students everywhere. Let's hope that the situation improves and we can experience this together soon. As part of the Virus Hunter project, we also created an educational website, which will serve as an interactive digital exhibition. The website will be used by teachers and students in schools all over Malaysia. Let's check it out. Let's give this a moment while we sort this out. Oh, the video was playing on my end. Give me a moment. Sorry about that. We are Gina and Elias. Join us to learn more about viruses, pandemics, and vaccines through our online Virus Hunter exhibition. Go to www.virushunterexhibit.com to start your journey. First, choose your language on the top right of the screen. Now, you're ready to start your mission to become a Virus Hunter. Complete activities and collect stars to earn the Virus Hunter medal. In each section, there are new things to learn and discover. Are you ready? Let's go! Click here on the right to learn more about the current topic. On the left, you can find fun facts, information about careers, and other cool information. Don't forget to always, always complete the activity with the star icon to collect stars. Once you collect all stars, you will be rewarded with a Virus Hunter medal that you can share with your friends and family. We hope you will learn a thing or two with us in this journey. Let's do our part in preventing pandemics. We are super excited to get this program to our students. Thank you to the Ministry of Education for facilitating our efforts to get this to them. We hope you like what we have in store. With that, we have completed the launch of the Virus Hunter project. Thank you for joining us. Please head over to www.virushunterexhibit.com and let's learn about viruses, pandemics and vaccines together. See you there.